Hello, Billy. Hello, Jillian. How lovely nice to see you. Billy has asked researcher Gillian Wright to look for records about Daniel Doyle's life back in Britain. Well, I think we're in luck because mm. we have some information. Right. About and uh, this is actually from Scotland. Oh, so they moved it to Scotland? Yes. Application for relief? No, I don't understand it. Are they applying to the government for relief? Yeah, the they're church? applying to the, to the parish. Well, the parish, yeah. And it's poor relief. Oh. Which means they are very desperate. My God. I'm sad. I wanted them to do better than that. Yeah. And then we know that he had a stroke and he died in 1902. What a shame. It's a terrible, tragic end to his life. After this period, it's his wife who's applying for assistance. Yes. She's a widow of Daniel Doyle. This is Margaret. And on the 28th of July, 1903, she's committed to the poorhouse. She's complaining of weak vision. She is, yeah. God, life isn't easy for her, Margaret, is it? Not at all. And then we get the final entry on the 18th of September, uh, 1905, when again she applies for relief. Her life has changed radically, too. She must have been deeply depressed. I think when she married a dashing young man. She married a dashing young drunk with a history of syphilis. <laughs> <laughs> well, I doubt if she was aware of that. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm depressed about the whole affair. This, this severe slope downwards. But that's the last application, so after that, she never applies again. So perhaps then her family take responsibility for her. But we don't know. Yeah. So that's where her story ends here. But there is on the first page of this document something which tells us about where she began. Oh, really? Yeah, because they not only showed the children, they showed the parentage. So that may interest you. Wife Margaret O'Brien, born in East India. Daughter of John O'Brien and Matilda Allen, both dead. They're her parents, so I have a record. You do? I do. Of, of her father? Of her father and for her journey in life. Oh, great. Registry of baptisms in the year 1852. Yeah. And if you look for Margaret. This year? Yes, there she is. Parents' names, John and Matilda O'Brien. Rank or She's occupation the of the father? Bullock driver? No, and no, unfortunately, that would have been really fun. That's the next one down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> private? He was a private in the first M, which is the first Madras Fusiliers. Really? Yeah, and uh, the Madras Fusiliers had been sent up north to quash the rebellion. The, the Indian mutiny, as they called yeah. it, the Great Rebellion. That started that year. So her father was a private in the Madras Regiment? Yes. So he would definitely be up fighting in the, in the mutiny? Yeah. Oh, my God. Billy has discovered his connection to India goes back another generation. While Daniel Doyle was stationed in the South during the Great Rebellion, his father-in-law, John O'Brien, was sent to the heart of the uprising. You know, I didn't know I had anybody involved in the Indian mutiny, the Indian rebellion, you know, and he was actually in action. And I would, I would suspect that Daniel would be a wee bit in awe of him.